when you look at these studios and how they just screw over fans of the franchise or, or whatever franchises they are they are producing they don't care what you think you can give them all of the input everything that you could ever hope for right say look we want this we want that you could do a poll and the studio still would not listen <laughs> There's definitely trouble in the wasteland as Furiosa is now a box office disaster. Now there's two types of perspectives you can go about regarding this situation. One, you can ask, is this an omen? Is this a sign that is showing us that the inner cinema is amongst us? Or two, you can ask, is this fans and the average moviegoer speaking with their pockets? Now I'm going to tell you which one of the two I agree with, but first let's get into today's article. This article comes from Heroic Hollywood. It is titled Furiosa Struggles at Worst Memorial Day Weekend Box Office in Decades. Is this the inner cinema? Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, struggles on its opening weekend as the Memorial Day box office hits lows it hasn't seen in decades. Now, I want to be precise. 29 years. That's how long it has been since the box office weekend for Memorial Day has been this low. I think they said it was Casper, the friendly ghost. And here it is. Furiosa has to headline a negative headline like this. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, was one of the most anticipated movies of the summer. I do not agree with that because if it were, it would have opened much higher. It kept up that momentum through release, gaining rave reviews from fans and critics alike. However, it seems even that can't save it from the box office blues. With the film struggling to overtake the Garfield movie at the worst Memorial Day weekend at the box office since 1995. 95. This left many scratching their heads as to why general audience aren't showing up to Furiosa. While there is no definitive cause, some key points of speculation includes ever-increasing ticket prices while people feel less financially secure than ever and a declining, oh I'm sorry I got something there, a declining theater experience due to phones and talking during showings. I would not agree with that because me and my family, we go all the time, right? But the problem is the quality that I'm getting from these movie studios these now and days, I feel like I am wasting my money. Like, for real. I haven't really enjoyed a lot of things that has been released in the last few years, man. I mean, like, a lot of these studios are just putting out things that's just utter nonsense, in my honest opinion. And we go down in here, it says, is Furiosa box office bomb an omen? While Furiosa certainly had a disappointing opening, especially given its Memorial Day weekend, that doesn't mean every film is flopping. Godzilla X Kong, a similar franchise tempo, has been absolutely killing it. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. I don't think that Godzilla X Kong even crossed over $550 million yet. Let me look this up because I haven't given you guys a box office update in quite a while so let me see here Godzilla X Kong let's go tell me it's been killing it no, no the hell it haven't where is this movie I guess I gotta search for it give me a second guys give me a second Godzilla X Kong it usually be up there alright a new empire Godzilla X Kong is sitting at $564 million worldwide on like a $190 million budget. That is not killing it. That is not killing it. In fact, the previous Godzilla vs. Kong film grossed something like $400, $500 million. I can't think about it off the back of my head. While being released on HBO Max simultaneously. So you would think that this film will earn something along the lines of $750, $800 million worldwide. So Godzilla X-Kong isn't killing it, my gentlemen. All right, where were we? 
While the film had a strong opening weekend, it continued returns even a month out showing show out show fans may take some time to show up to theaters. Sorry about that, you guys. I also be it also be a mistake not to mention Marvel in this equation. For as much as hate as the franchise gets, their movies still tops the charts anytime they're released. Even flops like Ant Man and Wasp Quantumania became the eleventh highest grossing film of their respective years. So while the fate of Furiosa is a sad one, this Memorial Day weekend likely isn't a funeral for the box office. Look, I'm not going to agree and say that this is an omen that the 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 cinema is dying, right? I'm not going to agree with that. You put something out that is really, really good, that is really, really interesting, you will see the returns. However, I do see this as fans and the average moviegoer speaking with their pockets. We have been burnt, man. When you look at these studios and how they just screw over fans of the franchise or, or whatever franchises they are, they are producing, they don't care what you think. You can give them all of the input, everything that you could ever hope for, right? Say, look, we want this, we want that. You could do a poll, and the studio still would not listen. If you look at what Warner Brothers did with the DC Universe, right? Fans said, look, we don't want a reboot. We want a course correction, right? And what did they do? They rebooted it, and that left three flops on the table. Right after he announced that reboot, talking about James Gunn here, right? Blue Beetle flopped. The Flash flopped and pretty much Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. And here it is. The karma continues to catch up with that of Warner Brothers. They had Barbie last year. Now they have Furiosa. See, these studios, they need to get with the program. You cannot continue to screw over those who is spending money on your product. I am sorry. That's that's like me telling you guys that I don't care about what you think. I don't care about your input and I expect for you to watch my videos. How the hell do I expect a return from that? You're not going to get it. It is all about respect. And these studios has lost all respect for the movie goers and that of the fans. The people who was dedicated to their product, they have screwed them over. And that's why the situation is happening. Now, they're going to pick and choose as to what they want to watch. That is what it is. Now, what the theater owners need to do, they need to call the studios and say, Hey, we need you to listen to the fans a little bit more. Because that what drives, you know, business. You know, it's, it's, it's 101. I don't understand what class these people took, but it damn sure wasn't that a business. Because they don't know nothing about it at all. At least in my opinion. You may think otherwise. But for what I have seen over the last few years. Studios do not care about our feelings. So what we're going to do is. We're going to continue to speak with our pockets. Don't get mad when we don't show up. Don't go to asking questions. Where is everybody when they don't show up? Don't ask. Don't ask. You're pandering to a certain audience that you think that you have and you realize that you don't have it now you want to blame those who was your audience who refused to show up that's all on you bro that ain't got nothing to do with us at all now many people love Furiosa and it's a damn shame that it has this high Rotten Tomato score and also audience score and a lot of people seem to enjoy it but it cannot reap the benefits for that it can't it just can't and that's all on Hollywood these now and these. I am sorry that it's the facts and the facts do not care about their feelings. I'm your boy O. Hopefully you have watched this video all the way to the end up your boy out that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. Try to reach that magical number of three thousand subscribers so I'll be highly appreciative you will help me cross over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me how that algorithm, baby, but in the comments below, let me know if you agree with my opinion today. Do you feel that this is the average movie goers or going audience and that of the fans speaking with their pockets? Or do you agree that this is a sign that the inner cinema is amongst us. Let me know. 
in the comments below. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. <laughs>